Hello all. In the previous lecture we have seen about while loop. So in this lecture we will see about do while loop. So it is a kind of while loop. So the difference is while loop is an entry control loop and do while is an exit control loop. So we will see what is a do while loop. So do while is an exit control loop. So exit control loop means the condition is checked after executing the body of a loop. So the condition in the while loop, the condition will be checked first and if it is true, then the set of statements will be executed. Here the set of statements will be executed first and after that the condition will be checked. So it is also known as post checking loop. So it checks its condition at the bottom of the loop. So it is guaranteed to execute at least one time because at the, in the first uh, initial stage, it won't, it won't check the condition. So it will execute the statements, then only it will check the condition. So if the condition is false, then it will exit the loop. But at least once the uh, statements will be executed. So this is a flowchart of the do while loop. So do, then uh, the statements will be executed first. That is the body of the loop will be executed first. And after that, the condition will be checked. And if the condition is true, Again, the statements will be executed. After that, again, the condition will be checked. If it is true, again, the statements will be executed. Like that, it will be repeated. But when the condition becomes false, it will exit, exit the loop. Okay. So, this is a, while, a syntax of while loop. So, if you see that, the while will be at the bottom. So, do, then the set of statements will be there. So, within the, this is the body of the loop. So, we are not checking the condition initially. So, after executing the statements, there will be a while condition. If the condition is false, it will exit the loop. So, here there is a semicolon. In the while syntax, there is no semicolon. Here there is a semicolon. So, this condition may be an expression. It is the same as set of uh, while condition. True is any non-zero value. Okay. So, we will uh, see some examples. So, Vim do well dot C. There is a program. So, this is a simple program. We have already seen this program. So, here in the main, uh, we have declared a, a local variable a equal to 10. Then, this is a uh, do while loop. Do then inside this printf so we are not checking any condition silly so do it will go inside the loop it will uh, even if the condition is false we won't check it so it will execute this exit this uh, execute the statement printf value of a is uh, 10 will be printed here initially it is 10 so a will be 10 will be printed then a is incremented a equal to a plus 1 so a becomes 11 now after that the condition will be checked while 11 less than 20. So it is true. So again, it will ex uh, execute these two statements. Print of value of a is now 11. Then a becomes 12. After that, while uh, 12 less than 20, it is true. So that it uh, so it goes on repeating until a becomes 20. So this is a while loop. So we will see this uh, ex execute this thing gcc do while dot c dot slash a dot out so initially it is 10 11 like that up to 19 it will be that when it becomes 20 it will ex exit the loop okay we will see one more program so this is another program here in the main in the a equal to 10 a is initially 10 now do now i am just printing print the follow uh, hello and a is incremented by 1 a becomes 11 a becomes 11 here the condition is false now while a less than uh, 10 11 less than 10 so it is false actually even though it is false uh, it is executed at least once so if i Want, I will give some other value here. So it is uh, in, I am giving a as 20. Okay. 
so at the in the first stage itself so if you see the condition 20 less than 10 it is false 20 is not less than 10 it is false so even though it is false what happens is a is 20 so once printf hello will be printed again a is incremented 20 plus 1 it becomes 21 while uh, 21 less than 10 it is false so it will exit the loop but at uh, hello will be printed because this do while statement since the condition is checked at the bottom at least once the loop will be executed so that's the difference between while and do while loop so while loop uh, in do while loop even if the condition is false the loop will be executed at least once because it is an exit control loop so these statements will be executed after that only really the condition will be checked so we will see this uh, we will run this and see gcc one then dot slash a dot out so if you see this hello will be printed once even though the condition is false the hello will be printed at least once so that's the difference between uh, while loop and do while loop so while loop is an entry control loop and do while is an exit control loop so do while at least once the body will be executed So there are three questions for this exercise. For the first is uh, program to find the sum of cubes, cubes of n natural numbers. 1 cube plus 2 cube plus etc up to n cube. Okay. So using do while loop. Then program to find the sum of odd numbers up to n. That is 1 plus 3 plus 5. You have already done this program in while loop also. Now you will try to do with uh, this do while loop. So these are the three programs. So then the third one is program to find the sum of coins of first n even numbers. Okay. So first n uh, squares of first n, n even numbers. You have to use do while loop itself. Okay. We have seen the same program in uh, while loop also. You will do this exercise also. Thank you.